Hello friends, welcome back to Slide Hunt with C Programming Video Tutorial. In this tutorial, we learn some more about address. In our previous tutorial, we learn what are address, how to initialize address, how to print array elements, and we also learn how to take input from user. But now, in this tutorial, we learn how to pass array elements to a function. Array elements can be passed to a function by calling the function by value or by reference. In the call by value, we pass values of array elements to the function. Whereas in the call by reference, we pass the address of array elements to the function. Here first we see how to pass the values of array elements to a function. So let's start. Here first we declare an array int max and within square bracket writes its size I am gonna write here 5 and give here a semicolon this statement indicates max is an integer type array which contains 5 elements next we initialize the element give here a equal to sign and within curly braces we write the elements I am going to write here 50 55 60 65 and then 70 Next, we call a function and within that function, we pass the element. Since the array has 5 elements and we pass the element one by one, so we need here a for loop. First, we initialize a loop counter that is int i and then we write the for loop that is for i equal to 0, i less than size, here size equal to 5, so we write here i less than 5 and then i++ plus plus. inside this loop we call the function let's say display and here we pass the element of marks so I'm gonna write here marks and within square bracket write the loop counter that is i now we need to define this function so I'm gonna write here void display and the function display takes one argument that is int m since this function received one value at a time that's why we declare m as an integer type variable inside this function we print the value of m so I'm gonna write here printf percent d new line and here we refer m and the last thing that we need to do write the prototype so I'm gonna write here void display and it takes one argument let's check the output compile it and run it as you can see here it print all the five values now we see how we can pass address of the array elements since we are passing here the address of individual array elements then we need to put here a address of operator so I'm gonna write here ampersand ampersand marks i passing the address of ith position when i equal to 0 then ampersand marks 0 passing the address of 0th position and the passing address is received by the variable m here m is an ordinary integer type variable and we know an ordinary variable can't hold the address of another variable so we need to declare it as a pointer type variable to declare a pointer variable we need to give here a star since here we are printing the value of m so we need to give here a value of operator so I'm gonna write here star and inside the prototype we write int star let's check the output compile it and run it as you can see here it print all the five values first 50 then 55 then 60 then 65 and then 70 the last thing that we learn here we can pass entire array to a function for this purpose we need to do some modification when we call the function we need to pass two argument one is array and another is size of the array so I'm gonna write here marks and then size that is 5 and here we need to write the array name that is marks and int size 
since we passing here the entire array so we no need to write this loop here so just delete it within this function we use a for loop and we need a loop counter so I'm gonna write here int i and then for i equal to 0 i less than size since here we starting from 0 that's why we write the condition i less than size and then increment the value of i by 1 that is i plus plus and here I'm gonna write element at percent d is percent d and here we refer i and max i now we need to some modification in prototype declaration so I'm gonna write here int max and then int size let's check the output compile it and run it as you can see here it print element at 0 position is 50 element at first position is 55 second position is 60 third position is 65 and fourth position is 70 if you see carefully then you will find all the three cases we get the same output so we can say we perform the same tasks using three different procedure that's it hope you understand see you in next tutorial thank you for watching this video to watch more videos please subscribe this channel slide hunt